Okay, so before we can head out on the 118 to Hipsimi Valley, we have to stop into the J6 Flips mothership to grab our little friend here who made a guest appearance in a recent video on accident. He was kind of just peeking out, but um, it's the first time the YouTube channel has led to a sale. Our friend Haley saw uh, this little Simba character and immediately wanted it. So I'm taking it out to Simi Valley to deliver it personally. And while I'm in the area, I'm going to go ahead and hit the thrift stores out there because I haven't been in a while. So hit uh, two birds with one stone, hopefully find some flips, and obviously collect a little bit of cash. Okay, so we packaged everything up. These are some Nike boots that actually sold on Poshmark. I don't get a lot of sales on Poshmark because I've only listed hats and shoes on there, but when they do come through, I'm pretty stoked. I think they sold for like 80 bucks, and um, I think Posh was giving 62 of that to me, minus the cost of goods. I think I paid eight to 10 bucks there, so at least 50 bucks in profit there. This shirt is another Untuck It shirt, but then it sells really well. So I think that sold for 20 bucks plus shipping. And this is a roll of a 3D printer fiber or string or whatever that I got in Bakersfield the first time I went out there. So um, that was the last one. I think I ended up getting three of those for five bucks each and this one just sold for 25 plus shipping. Alrighty, so we just got on the 118 freeway. Uh, probably one of my favorite commutes is going into Simi or Moore Park because you pass a lot of nice natural landmarks that we have like Stony Point, which we just passed and Rocky Peak, which is my favorite trail to run. Um, it's just a nice little out and back where you can make it as long or as short as possible. So I'll be out there a lot to prepare for the trail races I have planned this year to hopefully do the my sponsor, my reselling sponsor proud, hopefully. Uh, but right now we're going to go find some flips. So let's go straight to Moore Park. I don't want to look through all these t-shirts. So I think I'm going to make a quick pass through. See if there's like athletic shirts. Oh, nice. Atletico Madrid. 2018. Okay. Looking through the jackets. Something tells me I'll find like a... Oh, this is cool. Oregon dry fit. It's in good shape. I'm not sure what they're. It's nine now. You can't go wrong with this, right? Sadashers? No. It's cool, but it needs a logo or something. Washington. This is nice, but I don't know the brand on this. I'm gonna go hold on to this one. Hmm. These are all their fancier shoes, it seems. Disney vans. These on clouds are 30 bucks, so they know about those. More on clouds. See, the stuff is here, but they've caught on. So I think it's all overpriced by now. Okay, so this is definitely something that Osborne and Flip would look at. So I'm gonna look at it. They want 30 bucks though. I'm gonna go with this thing. But that's not gonna be worth it. Flex fit Travis and Matthew hat. You might hear the yelling in the background. There's a community integration system or service must be because there's a couple folks with special needs who are just hanging out and looking for stuff from thrift who doesn't love that frontline cleveland frontline putter cover that one might be worth it 20 bucks mm. five sold not what we're looking at though all right, so it might get loud out here, but we spent 24 bucks on two polos, that Oregon Ducks quarter zip long sleeve, the jersey, and the uh, leather Lakers visor. I'm not sure, I didn't even look that thing up, but 
for three bucks, I just brought it. On to the next one. All right, so we're up the street now on High Street. I love that little gazebo over there. On High Street, looking at Luther's Attic. Been here once, found a couple cool electronics sealed, so we'll just hope that they're open. And they're open. Last time I found stuff up here, baby group. That is cute. Two fifty. Somebody got this for Christmas and immediately donated it. How rude. Here's some windbreakers. That three stripe life. Size large. It's dirty though. No, oh, these can be cleaned up. I know someone who can wear these. Two quick things, some pants for Trev Doe Baggins and Chia Pet. Maybe Maximo, maybe I'll sell it, we'll see. Making a quick pit stop to get some food. Used to come to this place all the time. Now I'm back. All right, here we go. Two asada tacos. I usually get a burrito, but I got some lunch plans, so. Uh, I'm gonna have these now. So it's only gonna stop for a quick meal, but I think I'm gonna have to get some coffee too. All right, so this is the alley in Moore Park. There's a brewery, there's a craft house, there's a coffee shop and a wine cellar here. So pretty cool little spot. They added all this after the fact and um, really popular beer, so always, how are you? Always a nice little stop to make sure to check in. Did a video for them for a Brews with Masters, but it's been a minute since I said what's up, so it looks like they're busy on brew day. At least it smells like it. Yeah. All right, so we got our coffee. Americano. All right, so we're back at the Hope of the Valley thrift store in Simi. This is one of five locations they have. I think it's this one, Santa Clarita, the one we usually go to in Granada, and then two in like Palmdale and Lancaster. So, but this the special thing is it's 25% off here on Wednesdays and Mondays, which is opposite from ours. So, but yeah, so it's cool that it works out that way. 25% off for three days in a row, and it all goes to the Flipping for Hope challenge. So, anything I find here, the profits will go right back into buying stuff from hope in the valley and i'm building the profits to three thousand dollars to sponsor a um tiny home in the tiny home village that they produce so this is actually the second of these i've seen it's a patagonia capoline i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right but i got the other one for cheaper than this so and this one has some snags looks a little beat up so the other one was a lot in better condition so I'm gonna leave that one behind, but here we go. Some stainage, so pass. So this is interesting. They have this HP Tango X smart home printer. It's not new, and they cut off the barcode. You can still search it, obviously, but not worth it. It's overpriced here, so they can keep it. Great movie. Arguably the best Robin Hood. All right, so the only thing I found there was that uh, Brazil jersey. It ended up being 14 and change, so just under 15 bucks, which is awesome. Could double up on that, so that's cool. Um, and then Haley actually met me there too, the one who grabbed Simba, so I gave her Simba. She's gonna meet me at See Me Thrift, so we can hit a couple or look around in there and see if we find anything. And then after that, I'm pretty sure there's a good pizza spot around here, but we'll have to find it. All right, so we're back at Simi Thrift Store. Haven't had luck here in many in uh, recent visits, but you gotta keep looking because they get new stuff and stuff changes out. So maybe we'll luck out today. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> it's like a skateboard attachment. I think it's missing some hardware. Darren Fox. Some nice 
Coles jersey. Okay, so we only ended up grabbing that De'Aaron Fox uh, jersey and that addition add-on to a, probably a stroller or whatever it adds on to. So a couple nice finds. I've never found anything there, so I'm glad to come away with something. And now we're heading to uh, my favorite pizza spot. One small pepperoni, one small Lunch break's over. We're at Alpine Attic. A dude in the parking lot who had multiple bags from Goodwill, which tells me he already picked all this stuff. Green Canyon. Balenciaga. <laughs> Yield and tag. See me go. Okay, so these. This one might actually be worth it. Seven bucks. That's a great price for one of these jackets. In one of my videos, I got a bunch of impermeable jackets. Those are a little more intense than this. But this is still great quality. The inside's a lot cleaner too. And even better. So the info says jacket, flyers, cold weather. Alpha Industries. Cool. So that other reseller didn't grab that. That's his loss. Curious about this thing. Viber King. Works good. It's a massager. In the early 1900s. 44 seems like a lot. The latest comps though, which was today, one of them sold for 100. The cord looks a little chewed up, but... I didn't see any other online, so maybe if I make it clear enough that it's there, and as long as it works, I could double my money pretty quickly with that. All right, this is usually my last stop. It's called Second Story. Um, I don't really look for clothes a lot here, but since these are out here, I might as well take a peek. Doesn't seem like there's much. All right, let's just go in. That's the donation area on the over there. So we always go to the back and work our way out. I've seen a lot of Ram stuff recently. People are very disappointed in them. This is where I found uh, all of those action figures before. But we'll see if we luck out like that again. I bought many of these. Three bucks. That's not bad. This looks like it's in pretty new condition too. Have the pencil in here? I don't see the pencil. Other than that, it's new. Hmm. Easy sell for like 10 to 15 though, so. In the spirit of not getting small flips, we'll pass. Oh well. All right, folks, so I don't like usually ending with an L like that where I come out empty handed, but I got to get back. I've been meandering around see me for too long. Time for me to get home. I got to pick up Maximo from school and I got to start getting and taking a bunch of photos of stuff yesterday. So I got to get that stuff listed. So I have more than enough to do already and um, I got to get to it. So hope you all enjoyed. I appreciate you following along. We found some good stuff today and um, yeah, I just got to get it listed and put it up online because it can't sell if it's not online. So hope you all will come back again soon and thrift with me again. Have a great rest of the day.